I'm amazed at how the times has just changed in such a short time that we have really come into the look of fall here in the garden. The autumn leaves are definitely falling and the color, the autumn color is definitely here in the garden. What a beautiful morning. It's Wednesday and it's warm. And things are just looking so good. Now, do you see there that my beautiful golden tree is no longer there, except we just now have some orange leaves, orangey tingy leaves coloring there, which is still beautiful, but now you can see the skeleton of the the tree, the maple tree here in the middle of the garden. But yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful sight. And as I step into the garden, it's just a beautiful, beautiful morning here in my New England garden. Yes, in the Boston area, Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. I'm amazed at how the times has just changed in such a short time that we have really come into the look of fall here in the garden. The autumn leaves are definitely falling and the color, the autumn color is definitely here in the garden. You could see them even in the grape leaves here. Yeah, it's just all around. And my husband has just been working diligently in cleaning up the garden. And it is a Wednesday. So this is just a little sneak peek of what's happening in Catherine's garden and home as we start to put things together here and get ready for the um, winter, actually putting things to bed. And we still got a lot of trees there. A lot of raking to be done as we continue to take care of this garden space. Today is a beautiful day here in October. And I've noticed that the tomatoes are now starting to ripen up so I'm going to gather as many of them as I can um, it's the weather's going to be has been very good it's just been so warm and pleasant and so tomorrow it's going to be uh, a little more cooler and, and it's going to drop and then later on 
uh, next week it's going the temperature is going to rise back up again so it's like they're seesawing up and down up and down so what I want to do is get in here and start to just pick because you can see how they're like splitting it's because of the shifting in the um, in the temperatures which are causing them to crack and oh look at that see what I mean so I think I need to pick them before they get any worse than that like, look at this well, they came off real easy too some of them are really tucked in here now I think if I had picked them earlier it probably wouldn't be so cracked but look at that it's so pretty what a beautiful harvest this has been some of them I'm not going to bother with with this one I'm just gonna throw that away this is it decided to go for it and just to go ahead and pick them and just see how well they ripen indoors because as I said the weather's going to be changing and they're going to end up splitting if they stay out here because the temperatures are going to be really dropping low so this has been my harvest of my green tomatoes and I still have a few tomatoes little ones um, but overall, that's it. Oh, man. that I've been waiting for. It's been harvested for me. And what has made working in my garden and, and being a part of this garden and experiencing my garden so exciting for me has been YouTube. Because when I started my YouTube channel, it gave me purpose to want to to come out and garden, not just to please myself, but also to share my knowledge with others. So I would say to each and every one of you who are lovers of YouTube, and especially in gardening, and you have a beautiful garden, don't be afraid to tell the world about what you do and how you are able to develop this place where you have um, such joy. Your garden. Because that's what the world needs right now. The world needs joy. And I found that my garden 
has become and has always been my therapy. It's the place in which I dreamt about sitting on my deck and just um, thinking about the flowers, making bouquets, enjoying um, uh, my time out here, feeling the sun. So YouTube has really been an outlet. It's actually been something that um, gives me purpose and gave my gardening an additional purpose, not just for me to be selfish about it, but that I was able to build community and share it with, with the world. And so I've also found that YouTube has been an invaluable resource for gardening experience because there were many times while working on what meant a lot to me, my garden, I found that I had questions about different things. YouTube became for me like a, um, a visual diary of my garden and what I've done. And I just, um, YouTube is, I wrote down here on my, my little card that YouTube is my visual diary journal. And that is what it has become because now when I go back and I look at the years that I've done YouTube and I'm able to see the different videos from my very first video to this time and just to see how I've grown as a person and how my garden has changed over time. It fills me with a lot of joy. And I'm truly grateful for YouTube. So I wanna encourage those of you who are interested in um, starting your own channel and you wanna share, you wanna reach out, you wanna gain um, something next. What is that next move? For you, I want to tell you that don't be afraid to tell the world about what you know and why is it important. Because there are people out there who are feeling the same way that you're feeling, but they don't have the courage right now to do it. So you can be the encourager and tell them, yes, you can start your own YouTube channel. You can go on and just express to them um, what it is that makes you feel so good. And, I, and I'll use the garden as the example. Why is my garden so important to me? And now that you can do shorts, um, you could do shorts, it's just so great because you don't have to be long. You could just say what you're feeling at the moment for a minute. You could show what you're doing for a minute. And, uh, and before you know it, it's out there and you'll actually reach multiple people because you have something important to say. So YouTube can help you reach the world. YouTube can help you reach the world. I have created my own journal because now I want to share what I've learned with you. This is my intentional garden journal of 2025. This is what it looks like and this is a picture of my garden which just to me um, exemplifies peace and serenity because that's what I consider my, my garden to be, my place of therapy, my place of contemplation and prayer and serenity and that's what I've created in my garden. But then also in the back, the back here, I also show you my hydrangea lane and here I designed um, my uh, hydrangeas that I had propagated here, propagated and created this lane of beauty, this border, back border, filled with hydrangeas and other um, hostas and other plants. And so the reason why I was able to do this, and it took about, I would say, the same four years to get to this point, is because of YouTube. And it gave me the encouragement from the different 
um, channels in which they showed how to propagate uh, Mike Kincaid, how to propagate um, hydrangeas. Yeah, you see my hydrangea there? It was so beautiful this year, the blue. It was just so gorgeous. And so that's why I was able to pr produce now this. And this is my gift to the world. And to you, my YouTube gardening friends, uh, I don't want to be afraid to tell you what, to, what I know. And that's what my uh, journal is what I know helped me. I was intentional in what I wanted to produce and what I wanted to see in my garden. And I wrote it down. And so now I have record of it from 2022 until now of how I've put together my, um, my garden. And in it, I ask you questions. I ask you, I give you a step, steps and tips for gardening here in my journal. And also, uh, I show you uh, my intentional thoughts. You know, when, when I'm in my garden, how does it make me feel? I, uh, what, I, what do I remember of, it, of this particular season? Wonder about and realize. I give you um, space to create uh, that garden, to say, well, I want to change this area. I want to change that area. I want it to look this way. I want to, I want to start a new garden space. I want a new vegetable garden space. I want an herbal tea garden space. And you could do that within your garden. And how do you want to rearrange it? And then I give you space in which you can create a, a plant picture collection, or you can look and see what the seasons are like. For me, um, what did I like about the different seasons? You know, and it just reminds me of what it looks, what it looked like in that season, uh, like the summer. And uh, my favorite spot, I love this spot in my garden. So um, that is what YouTube has done for me, is helped to stretch me. Because to be able to make this um, journal, I got the idea from the channels in which people were making um, books. And I said, I've always wanted to make a book. And so I was now able to use what I love doing, journal um, gardening, to create a journal. And from this journal is able to put it on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, if you just type in the Intentional Garden Journal 2025, and uh, my name is Catherine, Catherine Constant, then you will be able to find my journal, which is, or has been for a while, the, the number one release for, this, for these last two weeks in October. Um, in English Gardens. It's the number one release in English Gardens. And I have it in hardcover, I have it in paperback, and I also have a planner. And, but I just want you to know that YouTube is a wonderful way for you to give back to others and for you to um, share with others and help others. And not to be afraid to tell the world what you know because when you give of your knowledge, your time, your interest, when you give of what you know, it comes back to you a hundredfold. It comes back to you with many blessings. And what you also gain, gain finally is a beautiful gardening community or whatever interest that you're in. Say that you're into book making, book making community. Um, if you're into artwork, Whatever it is that your, your interests are, you will gain a community of people who, who want to do and love to do what you do. And then you can feed off of them. You get, you know, you get excited. My, my gardening community, you know, when I found out that I had this joy on being on YouTube, when I started singing, because I love to sing, and I came up with this jingle for my... Um, my gardening program, Catherine's Garden and Home. I said, um, we, we grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's Garden and Home, that's right. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together. 
Grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's garden and home. Uh huh. In Catherine's garden and home. That's right. Catherine's garden and home. Yes. And we all laughed and had a really good time. And that's been the beginning of that jingle that has really kept me for the last four years. And now, as I said, I have my journal, the Intentional Gardening Journal of 2025, which is available on Amazon. And that is why I love YouTube because it's really stretched me as a person and it has helped me, enlarged me, uh, given me you, my gardening friends, and it's just made me so happy. And so I am just telling you, thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being a part of this garden journey. Thank you because uh, YouTube has given me this visual diary that I can look back on. And thank you because I love my garden and it's made it worth it, this whole process. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Yes. And help me to get to get to continue to grow this channel so that I can continue to do what I love. Yes, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more. Join me on, on Wednesdays at 5:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I come on every Wednesday, you know, just as long as there's nothing to hinder me. <laughs> but I've been very consistent on Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, here at Catherine's Garden and Home. And we have a live Growing Together session. And then um, on Sundays, I've been doing Sunday walkabouts where I walk about the garden and show you how my garden has been transitioning. Spring, summer, fall, and even in the winter when it's snowing, I tend to come on out and walk around too. So come and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Yes, and don't forget to uh, go to my website. That's actually probably the easiest way to get to the journal. Go to my website. That's Catherine's, Catherine's Garden Home lws.weebly that's w-e-e-b-l-y dot com and uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home oh yes bye The garden is so nice. It just gives me this really beautiful experience here.